Today we will study a chapter, The Ghat of the Only World, written by Amitav Ghosh. So the name of the chapter is The Ghat of the World, Ghat of the Only World, written by Amitav Ghosh. First, let's know something, let's study something about the lesson. The Ghat of the Only World is Amitabh Ghosh, tribute to the great Kashmiri poet, writer and teacher who lived in America and died of brain tumor on 8 December 2001. So, this is a tribute to the great Kashmiri poet, writer, who lived in America and died of brain tumor. Eight December two thousand one. This tribute by Ghosh makes Shait's personality and poetry come alive. We get glimpses of his poetry, his views on life, art and literature, his Kashmiriyat and culinary skill. So what we will know about this? We'll know about his poetry. art, literature, and his personality. Let's have a summary of the lesson. The author Amitav Ghosh tells something about Aga Shahid Ali. He debuts to Aga Shahid Ali. They met at Brooklyn in 2000. They had several conversations on the phone in 1998 and 1999. Both had studied at Delhi University but had never met. They had common friends and similar tastes as well, like love of Logan Josh, Roshnara Begum and Kishore Kumar, indifference to cricket, attachment to old Bombay films, Political inclination and love for writing. So they met at Brooklyn in 2000. They had several or many conversations on the phone in 1998 and 1999. Moreover, they had common friends and common tastes. Now, the author further tells about Aga Shahid Ali that he was an example of courage, determination and strength. He was suffering from cancer. He was undergoing treatment for some 14 months when the author met him. He suffered from occasional lapses of memory but was on his feet and perfectly lucid or clear in clarity of reasoning and literary style. So the qualities of Aga Shahid Ali are in spite of having occasional lapses of brain tumor, a type of cancer. In spite of all this, he was perfectly lucid 
in clarity of reasoning and literary style. He ignored reassurances from the author and even laughed away his imminent death. There was a sudden blackout in 2000 made him move to Brooklyn from Manhattan. Although his life was being consumed by the malignant tumor, he was the center of perpetual carnival of talk, food, laughter and poetry. So, he was quite interested in poetry. He loved people around him. Laughed away his imminent death. He was quite full of life. The poet was also known for his brilliance in teaching. He taught at Penn State Hamilton College, University of Massachusetts, Amherst, University of Utah in Salt Lake City, and New York University. So, these are the places where he taught. These are the colleges and universities where he taught very well. Moreover, Shahid now is being told as a writer of poetry. He has been here described by Amitabh Ghosh. So, Amitabh Ghosh had read Shahid's poetical works even before he had met him. The poem, The Country Without a Post Office, had made a powerful impression on Ghosh. So, now about Shahid's works of Poetry. His poem, The Country Without a Post Office, was very impressive. Left impression on Ghosh. That is. Amitabh Kosh. His voice, lyrical and fiercely disciplined, engaged and yet deeply personal, was different from all others. He did not indulge in the more casual prose of his contemporaries. The author quoted a line from his poem that touched briefly on Kashmir. He wrote in a bardic register, Had heart, be brave. For example, Had heart, be brave. The political situation in Kashmir became one of the central subjects of his work. So what was one of the central subjects of his work? That was political situation central subject One of the central subjects of his work. He was not a political poet, although poems on the style tone Kashmir are his best works. There was an influence on Shahid's poetry that was the influence of James Mel. So, the poetry or the poems of Shahid were written being inspired by James who's being inspired Shai's being inspired by James Merrill. Themes now themes and imagery of Shai's poetry. The poet himself became one of the images as witness and a martyr. In his poetic imagery, death, Kashmir, and Shahid as a witness and a martyr become inseparable. So, he used in his poems 
imagery very much. There, Kashmir and Shahid as a witness, as a witness and martyr, became inseparable. Now, the author tells about Shahid's death. His death was peaceful, calm and contented. His end came at brother's house in Amherst. No trace of fear, pain or anguish at all. He was contented, he contented that he would meet his mother in his afterlife. Thus, now for the author, now the author tells about or it's dead. Peaceful, calm, there was no trace of fear, pain. Now, author tells about his association with Shahid. He had a brief friendship with Agar Shahid Ali. He met in 2000. He met him in 2000 to form a unique bond of friendship, which was the result of common likes and dislikes. Shahid rested his faith in Ghosh and wished that he would remember him after his death by writing about him. So now the poet, the author, tells about his friendship with Shahid. They became very good friends. And Shahid wanted the author to write about him after his death. Shahid was also a great cook, now the author tells. The author and Shahid shared a love for Rogan Josh. Despite the carnival of laugh, talk and poetry at his home, Shahid would never be so distracted as to lose track of the food being cooked. He believed in authenticity and exactitude and would not deviate from the traditional method and recipes. He had a special passion for food of his region. Kashmiri food and the Pandit style in particular. He also loved Bengali food. Thus, Shahid, passion towards is now described by the author. He was a great cook. never got distracted is to lose track of the food being cooked. He liked Kashmiri and Bengali food very much. Thus, this was all about the chapter. Thank you.